Before we proceed, I also want to talk about shelves because the EQ Red has a different take on shelves apart from the usual shelving in lows and highs that all of these EQs can do and we've seen that. Now, the shelves that the Red EQ uses are called Varislope and obviously you can use regular shelves as portrayed by my masterful choice here, but you can also engage a different type that only VQ Red has, and that's a vary slope for low and high, and there's also vary slope for cuts, so for filters. So let's take a look at what the low shelf vary slope does. You already see it's much smoother, but you can reach 0.4 where it's almost, actually it's absolutely a tilt shelf. So you're basically tilting the spectrum in favor of lows or highs, uh, depending on whether it's a low shelf or high shelf, and it can get up to, you know, kind of a more drastic behavior, but it really, really becomes super smooth. I mean, these shelves affect all the way to Nyquist from the 10 Hertz. So it's something different that because of the fast Fourier transform, these EQ can do really well. Once the thing is reconstructed, it sounds fantastic. Now, um, I want to do an experiment just because this is so cool and we're going to work in a mid side and I'm going to use a shelf for a low shelf for mono and I'm going to use a low shelf a high shelf for the side so like this let me do a high shelf very slope we're going to use these two so I'm going to keep them off we're going to try and see and hear what it sounds like if I were to use just these two types of shelves on this mix let's do this And I had to stop right away because I want to just emphasize, have you noticed that from my space bar to the playing, there's actually three seconds? And if you go in the preferences, you can see that I've selected extra DSP resolution, which is, you know, even higher than high, which I think it's what it defaults to. This is three seconds of latency at the current buffer size that I have. Let's take a look here at the... Uh, actual latency. Yeah, it's 2,972 milliseconds, so it's close to three. And this is the time it needs, the EQ, for breaking things from the time domain to the fast Fourier transform into the frequency domain and reconstructing it back. So definitely something different than your usual real-time tracking EQ, but that's, you know, why it sounds the way it sounds. So just so <laughs> you noticed, I pressed spacebar a week ago and then we heard play. The cool thing is that the bypass button on these plugins, rather than using the power off or maybe your dull bypass, don't use that because the one built into the EQ keeps track of aligning the bypassed signal and the real, you know, processed signal. So you will have actually one of the most silent uh, bypass engage transitions and they will have no, absolutely no delay. So, you know, word of advice. Let's try these very slope shelves. It's so delicate and so empowering for the whole thing. Like once I found the pivot point, it just opens 
the site content up without being obtrusive and it just completely solidifies the bottom rhythm section with just two shelves.